Hi everyone, I'm FM Greeno and welcome back to my Euro Truck Simulator 2 save. Since we were together last, I've mainly been focusing on charging around Scandinavia a little bit, picking up sort of short jobs but trying to fill in as many of the cities as I can in the region. We've picked up quite a few, we'll take a look at that in a minute. We're also going to go and see how our new driver, Alexander, has been getting on. So let's get into it. <music> see Alexander what he's been up to apparently he's having a rest at the moment not too happy about that <laughs> get on and earn me some money sunshine but uh, yeah I had him focusing on long distance so he's picked up like three attribute points there so now I've just switched him over to high value cargo so I want to start improving his profitability obviously you can see here it's some way down on what we're earning so that is the plan for him to start earning a little bit more money we do have another space in our garage in Leipzig. And of course, the next goal is going to be to buy another truck and find another driver to fill that space. We're getting fairly close to being able to do that. We're up to 95,000 euros currently. So I think with whatever we do today and a couple of extra jobs I do in between, we should be able to come back and do that in the next episode, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go and have a little look what jobs are available for us today. We're currently located in the Swedish town of Uppsala, which is pretty close to Stockholm. So, Michelino, hello there. Uh, there's quite a few jobs. Actually, I have to pop into Stockholm to pick up most of the jobs locally. Um, there's a load of yachts here that need delivering around. Um, so, they could be quite interesting little jobs, I think. Um, what I really don't want to do is to actually leave Scandinavia. Though I'm trying to pick up as many of the cities around here as I can. Um, we've only got Oslo in Norway, there's Bergen, Stavanger and Kristiansand here, but there's Gothenburg where we haven't been there yet, and a few others around here, um, and Kalmar, now I did notice there is a yacht that we can take to Kalmar from Stockholm, so I think that's the job we're going to pick up today, so I'll have a little drive from Uppsala into Stockholm to go and pick it up, and then, uh, then we'll head down that eastern coast of Sweden and deliver it to Kalmar, so let me go and get it set up be back in a moment as you can see we've made it to stockholm and we have picked up our yacht not really get a very good angle of it from here but yeah it's an interesting kind of load so let's get back into the cab and get on the road and start heading down the coast of sweden so we're now making our way through stockholm and getting onto some of the bigger roads in the area uh, having pulled out of that little marina kind of place where I picked up the yacht. So we've got about a five and a half hour drive ahead of us. Um, now it looks like we're already fairly full up on the tiredness meter. And in fact, I'm very grateful to regular viewer and commenter, uh, Gary Turpy, who pointed out that there is a very easy way for me to know when I'm going to need to sleep. So let me just get out onto this road here. And we'll take a look at that. So all I have to do on here is press F6 on the keyboard. And you'll notice where the sat-nav is changes. Okay, and it tells me down the bottom there, next rest stop in 4 hours and 21 minutes. Now that's going to be a bit of a problem. Because <laughs> apparently I need to get the yacht to where it needs to be in uh, 7 hours and 47 minutes so that doesn't give me time for a sleep and I've got a 5.5 hour drive ahead so I either have to take a bit of a hit on, uh, on the delivery uh, you get charged if you turn up late um, so I either do that or I try and chance it and see how we get on driving tired again so <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a lottery. We'll see. We'll see how it goes as we get on. So we've got about four hours left of the drive now, making pretty good progress. I was hoping this drive might actually take us right along the coastline. Obviously, Stockholm sits on the coast. And presumably where we're delivering a yacht to will sit on the coast. So I was hoping we'd be able to see the sea over on the left-hand side, but apparently not it's gone inland a little bit 
Maybe as we get a little bit closer to the destination, we'll be able to see that. It's quite a nice drive, this one. Now, I've done a bit of driving around Scandinavia in recent uh, recent drives, recent jobs. And a lot of the roads are kind of challenging. Um, <laughs> they're like single carriageway or, or even single carriageway with metal barriers on either side of that single carriageway, giving you very little margin for error. What's this on the left-hand side here? Some kind of aeroplane right, statue. And then exit right. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of exit been nice right. to sit on a on a dual carriageway, where uh, you can kind of drive <laughs> how you want to. But it looks like we're coming off of this, and who knows what we're going on to now? We'll see. So it turns out those uh, aeroplane statues, whatever they are, um, were just outside the town of Linköping, um, which is a town I've actually been to once um, for a business meeting. I flew into the little airport there, and I seem to remember, I may, I may not be right, but there was some um, something about it being the headquarters of the Saab Aerospace. Uh, kind of division. So perhaps those planes are kind of related to that. Perhaps it is the sort of manufacturing centre for Saab for their aeroplane stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure anyone in, in Sweden who's watching this will, uh, will correct me if I'm wrong. So finally we get to see some water there on the right hand side. I don't think it's the sea. I think it's a lake or something but You'll notice we've just gone red on the sleep gauge. So that's just happened about an hour before it says here that we need to rest. So clearly that um, when I hit the F6 button and it gives me that information, that's like the hard stop. That's when you definitely need to rest. So... Uh, we're not going to drive for two hours. That's how long's remaining in this drive. Um, in this kind of state, because we, as we know, that leads to disaster. So as soon as I can find somewhere to stop, definitely going to be doing that. What a nice view that is out to the right-hand side there. And, yeah, we'll just see what the consequences of that are if we're considered to be late for our delivery. So that's the plan. There you are. You see, it says... Getting tired, need to find a place to rest. I will as soon as I can. <laughs> Show me a petrol station or somewhere quick. So it didn't take long for us to find a petrol station to sleep at. I haven't filled up with fuel. Uh, we've got about half a tank left. And it was pretty expensive where we were. Um, obviously that sleep has meant that we've woken up now just after midnight. So it's going to be a dark drive the rest of the way here which is always a little bit challenging especially when it's raining uh, we can put our full beams on there which will help so we've got about an hour and a half left to go i'm not sure what kind of penalties we're gonna get um if it is gonna tell us that we're late or well, maybe not I'm not sure okay well we'll see we'll see what happens um Hopefully we won't get penalised. Maybe I'm just interpreting that little remains thing wrong. We'll see. Um, yeah, a, a little bit of a dark drive here. All the way into Kalmar. And we'll check in when we get a little bit closer. This is one of those little sections of road I was talking about. Where there's no margin for error at all. So you've got a, like a metal fence on the left hand side there. And obviously uh, the edge of the road on the right there. Um, and if you bash into those little bollards, you're going to damage the truck. So you really, really have to concentrate. Make sure you get this absolutely spot on. Not easy in the dark. <laughs> so we've arrived into the town of Kalmar now. And we're pretty close to our destination. 
second exit. Okay, no problem. Uh, it's not a very big town by the looks of it, so exit now. quite easy to find where we're going to within the town. Keep it doesn't look like we're going to pick up that left. little question mark there. Maybe you need to take a slightly different route around. I guess that's another truck turn dealer left. or a recruitment agency. So it looks like it's just round this corner, which is a bit of a problem because I'm in the wrong lane. <laughs> Oh, we'll have to sort that out as soon as uh, as soon as the traffic starts moving. See if we can nudge somebody out of the way a little bit. There we go. We just nosed our way in. That's pretty good. So is this where we're delivering here? Could well be, couldn't it? There's the. Where's the entrance? It must be just there. The little green flashy thing is normally a giveaway, so. In we go. It's all over now. Another successful job done. So here are the results of that job. And as you can see, there was no penalty for being late or anything. So that was pretty good. So overall, we've earned just over 15,000 euros, which takes us a little bit closer to our next goal. As you can see, that puts us on 107,000 now. So I think if I do another couple of jobs offline, that should put us in a position where I can go and get another truck, another driver, and completely fill up that uh, facility in Leipzig. Then the goal will be where we're going to put our next uh, location. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm kind of thinking maybe towards the edge of the map for that, Maybe somewhere in northern Italy or France, so that when I add an extra DLC on, you've got a base there that pretty much takes us straight into those regions. So that's my thinking, but we'll, we'll take a look at that next time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Not the longest drive in the world, but pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please drop a like on there for me. And if you've got any comments about this episode or the series as a whole so far, I would love to see them below. And don't forget, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, click that button and come and hop on the Greeno bus. There is plenty of room for you all. It just remains for me to thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon with some more action here in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.